What's up everybody, Josh and Fish Stewart here, bringing you a whole nother video that I know you'll enjoy. Mm, look at that Arapaima, starting off with a hitter. Everybody else, everybody else. I appreciate everybody for the likes and subscriptions and the comments. Like always, I appreciate them. Now, we're getting straight into it. This is what the 700 gallon looks like now. After we put in the Peacock Bass, the Arapaima, and the Arowana. And we took this monstrous, horrible guy out. Or girl, whichever one. Water change here. Um, hi, Bruno in the back, right? Now, I am also doing a water change on this one because it needs it. This is a week later. And look, at as soon as I took the um, Golden Dorado out, look who came out. Red tail giant grommy and it is healing wonderfully. Not getting beat up anymore. And look who else is out. My friend Tosa. Just taking that one fish out did wonders. And I also would have thought that these black belt cichlids would have started trying to like take over everything. But no. They go back and forth with each other. But other than that, they're fine. Um if you didn't catch the last video, the first thing that happened, which was kind of bad besides I lost a couple of fish, was this guy right here decided that he was gonna eat a peacock bass. Um, and I say that because there is no way, unless it came out the little small holes like that, that that bass jumped out. I looked everywhere around the tank and nothing. Um, <clears throat> so I'm thinking that the lungfish ate him, um, which I was bummed out about because you know I've been growing them out, but I wasn't like devastated. I just really wanted my arapaima and arowana. I mean, you want everything to live, but those two were the main ones that were like, I need you to live. So yeah, everybody's doing great. I'm just so happy that I made the move. And now nobody's picking on each other. They go back and forth. So I am going to get more of those. Um, we're thinking long term here. So obviously, one, two, three, four, five. I, I'm not counting those because, yeah, they'll get like, I think, a foot long. And, you know, big dinner plates but the air primer will be able to eat them. Um, this pond is gonna be huge and I will put some hiding places, but I, I still don't know about those yet. Um, yeah, we're thinking that far in advance and I do want more peacock bass, more peacock bass. So I wanna get like five of them and then put them in the 240 over there. That's the plan. What's happening with the angel? You see the angel up there? Oh, he better be fine. Well, look, don't worry about that. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Let me know what you think I should add for this tank because I always like the advice that people give me. You think more Central American or South American cichlids? I like the American cichlids more than African cichlids because they're bigger and um, I like dinner plate fish. I like monsters. So another Oscar is not gonna happen. So don't even say that. I got stuck with the, uh, <sighs> we'll call it the Halloween one. He never takes off that ugly mask, but he's a nice fish. So other than that, we're good. But yeah, let me know what you think. You think maybe another arowana? Because for some reason, I can never keep them all together. Maybe I grow out like five of them and try to do it that way. Because eventually in the huge pond, we'll have more than one arowana. You think maybe another arapaima? Peacock bass for sure. But I do like to go, before you start like 
going and running through the comments. I do like to only have one of like top money fish, like the shore of the tank is obviously the air primer. For people who know fish, I mean, you look at it and people love that guy because of how he looks, the color. People see peacock bass and they go berserk. Um, when these guys, the black belts are in the light, they look amazing, you know? So people have all their different um, likes. That's still my favorite and people love him. But, you know, so what else should I add? Let me know. Uh, and I think that's it. You know what? Since you're here this long, we'll show the feeding. Yeah, let's do it. We might as well. Stay tuned. All right, here we go. Everybody's up for the center. The one thing I don't like is it still comes up. It kind of goes after the fish. Now, I think he's the one that went after the air parma. You see how the air parma has like messed up. Can you see from there? Yeah, you can see. So the air parma, when it comes back, has a slit in the back of its tail. Um, and I'm thinking it's because the African lungfish got him. Since he can't see, he goes after the fish, but he doesn't go after stuff that's been in here. So since everybody else is new, he went after them. Uh, the air primer also has some scales missing and some dings. And I think it's from hiding in the rocks and running away from this guy. So I think that's a not a problem, but you know, it's been happening. It should be fine. There's no rot or anything like that. So we should be good, not worried about it. I do need bigger pellets. Cause I got these small ones and I don't like them. So, yeah, everybody's good, everybody's eating. So I hope you liked the video. Um, make sure to like it, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss an, another one. I think we're doing big things here. Let me know what you wanna see. Should I add angels to this tank? Who knows? It's a weird channel, so subscribe. See you soon.